What is up you guys, welcome back to another one. If you are new to this channel, I'm Gold Pony. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the brand new 2022 Porsche Cayenne, courtesy of Mercedes-Benz of Hagerstown in Hagerstown, Maryland. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so obviously I wanted to check this one out because of course the legendary Porsche name, but there actually is one major change for the 2022 Cayenne. Nothing really too exciting, but it's big, at least for the Cayenne. So ultimately in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering feel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so MSRP for the 2022 Cayenne will start at $72,200. And I will emphasize start at because there are plenty of options for this thing. And we'll get more into that as the video goes on. And so powering our base Cayenne here will be a three liter turbocharged V6, putting out 335 horsepower at 6,500 RPM, 332 pound feet of torque coming in at a right around 1300 RPM. Power sent to all four wheels. All wheel drive does come standard on the Cayenne through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters, which we're gonna test out here in a little bit. Zero to 60 time is gonna come in at approximately 5.9 seconds, top speed, 152 miles per hour with MPG numbers coming in at 19 in the city, 23 on the highway, taking premium unleaded fuel. And so before we do any kind of fun paddle shifter or acceleration test here in our Cayenne, I wanted to mention the drive modes for this thing. And those drive modes will include things like normal, sport, sport plus, and individual, adjusting things like the shift points and throttle response, steering sensitivity, the suspension settings, and actually the exhaust note as well. So quite a bit of adjustments when it comes to those drive modes. So having said that now, what do you guys say? let's go ahead and find it straight away let's put the paddle shifters and acceleration to the test here at the same time and let's see how quickly we are going to get up to speed and let's see how quickly the paddle shifters are actually going to react for us here all right we're in first gear off we go wow <laughs> okay i'm losing my voice <clears throat> yeah Paddle shifters are freaking instantaneous, as expected from any Porsche, really. But you're, that was an incredible acceleration, quite honestly, for the base engine configuration for the Cayenne. So definitely very impressed with that acceleration as well. You're not going to have any issues in merging onto the highway. I'm sorry I lost my voice there during the acceleration, but... Yeah, that was plenty of an acceleration. Like I said, paddle shifters, very, very impressive here on the Cayenne without a doubt. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So up front, you will find 15.3 inch ventilated front disc with six piston aluminum monoblock fixed calipers. That is very impressive up front. In the back, 13 inch ventilated rear disc with four piston aluminum monoblock fixed calipers in the back. As far as that braking feel goes, it has been 100% on point. My short test drive here today definitely on the firmer side of things but instantly brings you to a stop in the Cayenne and so probably one of the better braking feels quite honestly I have felt in quite a while there then touching on suspension and handling you're actually going to get a very unique suspension for the Cayenne and really for a lot of Porsches but integrated 4d chassis control which essentially analyzes the current driving situation in all three dimensions including on the longitude side of things lateral and vertical acceleration and then calculates the vehicle status so with all that being said when it comes to ride quality has been 100% on point without a doubt. Definitely a very smooth ride here in the Cayenne. Not as smooth as maybe some of the Mercedes Benz that I test out, but still a very impressive ride quality when it comes to this thing. As far as steering feel goes, I still have it in sport driving mode. It is instantly pointing me in the direction that I want to go. Definitely a firmer or a heavier steering feel, I guess you could say. So love the steering feel on this thing. And again, it is adjustable depending upon the drive mode that you put in. So if you wanted a looser steering feel, you could just simply take it out of that sport driving mode and it's going to loosen up a little bit for you but having said that it's still kind of on the firm side so i love the steering feel on this thing as far as cabin noise goes we are driving right now 32 miles per hour so you guys could be the judge of that but really a very isolated cabin without a doubt so no issues when it comes to this thing having a very serene cabin very impressed there touching on visibility i can see pretty darn good out the back so shouldn't have any issues with rear visibility also wanted to mention the rain sensing windshield wipers do come standard on the cayenne as well and there is a head-up display available for 1720 dollars if you wanted to go that route as well but that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 porsche cayenne all right see so here she is you guys the new 2022 porsche cayenne definitely a very 
instantly recognizable look. Let's go ahead and start up front on this one. Tons of ventilation for the, of course, intercooler for the turbocharged six cylinder engine. Then to the sides, LED headlights do come standard with four point LED daytime running lights in typical Porsche fashion. Now, automatic feature coming with that, meaning when it starts to get dark and at night, those headlights will turn on automatically for you there. Automatic high beams coming standard, and there's actually LED adaptive lighting available that comes with a premium package, it's called, for $6,470. Obviously, it includes a lot more than simply just adaptive headlights, but still, it's part of that particular package if you wanted that. Of course, you guys can see front and center there, you do have the adaptive cruise control sensor found in that front grille. Just above that, you actually have the front camera system then as well. And of course, just above that, you have the Porsche Crest, which looks absolutely amazing and really is a feature in itself. But anyway, so pretty much rounds out the front end of this one. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side. All right, so now since we are around to the side of this one, gloss black window surrounds do come standard. Rear privacy glass also coming standard. Then take a look at their side mirrors. They are body colored power adjustable side mirrors they are heated with led integrated turret signals and they are power folding then as well so that is quite a bit there take a look down at the side skirts matte black side skirts do come standard on the base cayenne so i did want to mention that but i do like the body colored uh fender surrounds there that definitely looks good then making our way to the wheel configuration tons of different wheel options for the cayenne 19 inch alloys do come standard but there are 20 inch 21 inch and 22 inch <laughs> sizes available the particular wheels that we have today are 21 inch rs spider design wheels they actually added an additional three thousand eight hundred and thirty dollars to the price if you were interested and they look very much race spec so i am a big fan of the design but anyways it pretty much rounds out the side profile here so now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, so but now since we are around to the back of this one, first thing I want to mention is there is no shark fin antenna up top. A very clean look. I absolutely love that. So no bulbous design just sitting on top of the roof out of nowhere. So that is pretty cool. Just below where you would normally find a shark fin antenna, though, you do have a rear spoiler with an integrated brake light back there. Do you have a rear window wiper? Of course, as well. You got that Porsche lettering spelled out horizontally. It looks very good. You also have 3D LED taillights. That is definitely a very nice look as well. You guys can see those four point LED lighting within the taillights to match the front headlights as well. Just below it all, you're gonna find a matte black kind of rear diffuser there and to the sides, integrated dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip. So but now since we are around to the back of the Cayenne, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, there is a button on the key fob, but there is of course a button on the tailgate itself as well, but it is a power tailgate, I should also mention that, but once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 27.2 cubic feet behind that second row. If that was not enough space, there is a 40-20-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down pretty nicely, bumping that up to 60.3 cubic feet then. Also in that cargo area, you will find some LED cargo lighting, even luxury manufacturers don't always make that cargo lighting LED. A lot of times it's halogens and it's overlooked, but with the case of the Cayenne, it is LED. So I was definitely appreciative of that. There's actually a 12 volt power outlet back there. There is some netted storage then to the sides. There's some cargo tie down anchors finished in chrome as well. And if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, that is where you're actually going to find your spare tire. So then making our way to the rear legroom, that is going to come in at an even 36 inches. So for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had in those rear seats there. I do want to mention though for the rear passengers, those rear seats, they actually slide and recline, which you don't always find in other SUVs out there. So that was pretty cool. There is a rear center armrest with cup holders, of course, as well. There is rear ventilation. There's two rear USB-C charging ports. Four zone climate control is going to be available for an additional $990 if you wanted to let your rear passengers set their own individual temperatures back there. You can actually get heated and ventilated rear seats on this thing as well. That goes for $1,700. So it's an option another option there so overall though i was plenty comfortable in those back seats i will say that but then make your way to the front seats partial leather seats with embossed leather comes standard eight-way power driver seat does come standard Mas 
massaging front seats are available for $2,000 if you wanted that. And again, I mentioned that premium package earlier. Premium package actually adds heated front seats and 14-way power adjustable front seats with memory settings for both the driver and the passenger. So even the passenger seat has memory settings for up to three different people. So that is pretty cool. And that's not always the case in other SUVs out there. So again, that's why I'm emphasizing that. But overall, seating was 100% plenty comfortable. So definitely didn't have any issues there. Then taking a look at the steering wheel, it is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped and it can be heated for an additional $280. 10 2 grips were kind of thick, but overall the steering wheel is a little bit on the thinner side of things. So wouldn't have minded if they kind of beefed it up a little bit there. Then make our way to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key here. I always love Porsche keys. Essentially all of your buttons are located on the one side. You got your Porsche crest and it's kind of shaped like a Porsche as well lock unlock and of course that button to pop the rear tailgate there but it is all keyless entry so all i'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and turn the start knob which is located just by the driver's left knee so a little bit different than other manufacturers out there but pretty normal for porsche so i do want to emphasize that as well but anyways then making our way to the gauges so this is typical porsche gauges right here all the way to your left essentially you have two digital gauge clusters both to the left and the right and then you have your analog gauge cluster front and center which is a essentially your tachometer with a little digital speedometer found all the way to the bottom. Also going to display what gear you're in if you're manually shifting through the gears up on that portion as well. But all the way to the left, you got your outside temperature. Next little portion of the gauges there is going to be your speedometer as well as your trip A, trip B. If you go to the right of those analog gauges, you're going to find how many miles you have left until you hit empty as well as your typical fuel gauge. You can actually set this whole right side on a navigation setup if you wanted to as well. Also going to give you your date, which is pretty cool. You don't always find that on other manufacturers and of course the time of day as well so i do like the gauges just because they're very specific to porsche it's kind of what porsche's gauges are supposed to look like now at this point i guess you could say but now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality again with that premium package you do get a panoramic roof and actually ambient lighting as well which is pretty cool home light controls do come standard they're actually found on the roof just beside the button to operate the panoramic roof up here for up to three different garage doors so that's pretty cool you do have a frameless rear view mirror as well i liked that dual zone climate control comes standard but like i said four zone climate control is available brushed aluminum door sills comes standard i like that if you wanted a wireless phone charger that goes for 690 dollars if you wanted to go that route but overall i particularly like our two-toned theme with the uh, lighter color leather and the darker color leather up top here there's a lot of nice gloss black accents found just above the passenger side glove box as well as on the doors i like that as well nice firm grab handles just on the doors as well as just around the shifter that's pretty cool essentially every Everything surrounding the shifter is finished in gloss black and it's all a flat surface with working buttons. So essentially it's like my stove top so it's completely flat so it's a lot easier to clean than your traditional button setups I guess you could say. So was a big fan of that. You got your Cayenne etched in just behind the electromechanical parking brake. A little bit of rubberized storage behind that. 12 volt power outlet dual cup holders and within the center armrest you actually have a little bit of storage and that is where your wireless phone charger is actually going to be located as well. And I like the analog clock just above the infotainment screen that is something porsche has done now for a while so definitely a nice touch there as well so interior quality of course is perfectly fine now let's go ahead and make our way to that infotainment screen since i mentioned it here 12.3 inch color touch screen display does come standard of course bluetooth and audio streaming as well wireless apple carplay but wired Android Auto. So that's the big change for 2022 because believe it or not, for 2021, there was no Android Auto. So want to emphasize that. That is definitely very nice, of course. Factory navigation system coming standard. You can actually check out your driving dynamics up there as well, which is pretty darn cool. You check out different vehicle statistics. There's some weather information up there as well. That's nice. And of course, your radio information. And so the standard sound system is going to be a 10 speaker hi-fi sound system with 150 watts. There are two optional sound systems one of them is the one we have today being a 14 speaker bose sound system that goes for twelve hundred dollars and then there is a 21 speaker bemester sound system that goes for seven thousand dollars that gives you 1455 watts which is pretty much ridiculous so anyways we do have the bose sound system with us here today so what do you guys say let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one all right, so you got enough bass where you can feel it in your chest there. That was pretty ridiculous. Uh, plenty of clarity. Really, that Bose sound system absolutely crushed it for the Cayenne. I'm not sure you would need an upgraded sound system on top of that. Of course, if you're absolutely nuts into music, then yeah, that's fine. But 
Still, the Bose sound system absolutely crushes it with this car, and Bose is a very reliable sound system company as well. I've had them in my cars before and definitely never failed me, so big fan of that sound system. But anyways, last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the Cayenne in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming stated across the board, but not only that, with the assistance package, it goes for $6,250, you will also get a surround view monitor. That's that view to the left you guys are looking at right there. That also, by the way, that package for $6,250 also includes a head-up display, night vision assist, and adaptive cruise control with lane keep assist then as well so quite a bit with that but anyways it's always that is going to lead us into safety and so first let me start by saying porsche the way they do things they don't use u.s companies to safety test their vehicles so there's no iihs anything on this but i will say in europe they do there is a five star crash test rating by the euro ncap which is the very highest rating obviously but again not rated here in the US. And that's fine, that's a really good crash test rating. So front side side curtain airbags do come standard, driver and passenger knee airbags as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers to children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system. And then also coming standard will be front and rear parking sensors as well. So overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the Cayenne, legendary name, great safety on this thing and absolutely amazing performance a lot of people say mazda is the best driving suvs available but i would say if you could afford it 100 without a doubt porsche crushes mazda the driving dynamics on this thing are absolutely amazing the braking feel is wonderful instantly brings you to a stop the steering feel is great the acceleration is plenty respectable for the porsche name the paddle shifters are lightning quick as well so really if you're looking for performance in an suv i'm not sure you can beat a porsche whether that be the cayenne or the macan so this thing is absolutely amazing when it comes to there the only room for improvement i can really think of with the cayenne is the options available there are so many different options so while you can take a base cayenne for 72 you can easily push that over 100,000 with all the different options available on this thing but anyways let me know what you guys think of the cayenne in the comments section below that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you wanted to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to youtube be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold mm -hmm.